was a nigga his hair don't make him a uncle, bro. Wait, what did he? Where did he? Where did he cut his hair? What the? F what was this? Document this. Why you see? Yeah, niggas ain't used to this. Niggas ain't seen this one. Oh my god, he actually looked like an uncle here. Oh no. He actually looks like an uncle. So first thing, right? First thing, right? Doris, right? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like bias is going to be a big factor on here. Uh, I don't know. Bruh. I don't want to say. If, I don't want to. I don't want to be biased. Really like. Centurion. That's probably my favorite song on this album. I'm going to be honest. Horus might be second the night molasses molasses is pretty good i'm not a big fan of woe i thought woe was okay i know it had earl i mean it had a uh, tyler on it but i think that was the that was the that was the track that they that he led with with this album correct i don't know yeah second half of satirion is just crazy crack i ain't gonna lie okay i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be biased because doris is probably my favorite earl album and i think it's his first commercially successful music if i'm not mistaken so i'm gonna put that at s tier for me personally next um what is this what is this album Ain't there only two songs on this album? Or am I tripping? I don't remember this. I heard this on SoundCloud. I don't think I've actually like... Um, for my, If I'm gonna have to go based off of memory... Um... I'm gonna give it like a... C, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna give it like a C. Next, we got the self titled album, Earl. I don't remember which one I like. I liked Kill a lot. Moonlight, I don't really remember. I remember Pigeons. And obviously, you know, er, 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 E pair. E pair, you know what I'm saying? E pair with Vince Staples was pretty cool. Oh, Looper. I think I played Looper. Ma said, wake up, son. Bro, oh, I forgot. Looper's on this. Bro, Looper. Looper. Yeah, I forgot. Looper's on this, on this, on this album, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And good morning. I'm very hesitant to, to play any of these because I don't remember half these because I'm pretty sure they, saying some, they were saying some tomfoolery. What was Kill again? What? And Thomas, you're not completely wrong. I mean, to be fair, yes, he was very young at this time. Um, same with Tyler. Obviously, they were being edgy. Um, clearly not the best work. Uh, I still think, though, like music-wise, it's not his best one. Definitely, if I would, if I would, like, if 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 this was like 2000, like. If this was like high school, Nick, I would definitely have given this an S for sure. But now being a grown man, I'm not going to lie. Hold on. Let me play the one. Let me play pitches again because this the one I welcome back. To and he had the deep voice as well. Uh, I was about to give this a C, but I might have to bump this up to a B if I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to be honest, if this was like high school, Nick. 
Here's Liz. Production wise, it was amazing, but overall, it's just like, yeah. I'm I'm not really going back to this tape like that. Other than lo like like Looper, Looper, Looper's probably in. Looper's probably the only one I'm probably really going back to here, or Eper. Um, probably the only two songs that I'm probably really coming. Not uh uh, the only two songs I'm really coming back to listen to. If I'm gonna be honest. Now I will say though, early Tyler beats were crazy. They definitely were. They definitely were. I'm not gonna lie though, the significance, like the significance of this album is definitely monumental for sure. Like this was an era. Like when you know they did like they had this on a t-shirt. They had this on a t-shirt. Also, this is the album that literally sent him to Samoa. If I'm if I remember correctly, right? This is the album that sent him to a whole nother country. Cause his mom found his mom heard it shit and said, You are literally go into a whole nother country and learn what you did was wrong. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember my Tyler, the, if I remember my off future lore, pretty sure that's what happened, right? After this album came out, his mom heard that shit and sent him to Samoa to the, to the, to the shit, bruh. And then he had to fucking, this is where the whole free Earl movement came from. If I remember correctly, the whole free Earl movement started with this. But with that being said, solely based off the album, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have to give it like a, if I'm gonna be honest, like a B. Next, um, I forgot the name of this album, but we definitely heard it though, obviously. You like okay, well, clearly East is on here as well. East was on here. Um, mm. El Toro Combo Meal, I don't really remember that one. 4N was pretty okay. 4N was pretty okay. This was a very short album. Oh, it was this one. It was this one. It was this song. Okay, I remember that. And this, this, I remember the song. I remember the song. I remember the song. I'm mistaken. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna bump it up to. I think I'm gonna give this one a B as well. Cause even though East is iconic, East is iconic as hell. I don't, th I don't think like it being just an EP. Um, it didn't do much for me, uh, like that for real. It has some fire songs on it, but that's just you know, that's just me just being like you know, if I'm gonna be honest, 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 I'm gonna give it like a like a B, like a B tier. Um, next, I don't want, bro, I'm not good with album names, bro. Sick. Oh uh, yeah, we definitely listened to this one. We definitely reacted to this one on stream. Um, 2010 was very fire. That song, that song, and to, 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 to Bula, uh, uh, Rasa, that was a good one. That was a good song. Titanic was good as well. God's Laugh. I don't remember how I feel about God's Laugh. Um, this one was a pretty solid album. I'm going to be honest. This definitely was a very solid album. I'm going to need a bigger bag. Uh, yeah, that. I forget. This intro just every time. It gets to be every time. I don't know if I want to say 2010 is a top 10 song. It's definitely like. Damn, well now I think about it, shit, you might not be wrong. Uh, I'ma need a bigger bag for the cohort. I'ma give sick, I'ma say sick is an A. If I'ma be honest. Sick might be an A. Not gonna lie. Sick might be an A. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might bump it down to B, but I think I'm a I think A, I think A solid. I don't think it's S here. But I, it's for damn sure A. It's definitely very good. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely very good. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. I'm not going to lie. I was bumping this religiously. I was bumping this shit religiously. Generational album. His beats in this era was really cool. He was just doing anything here. 
I'm going to be honest. And this is when he started producing more. Yeah, that man was... I'm going to be honest. Huey was fire. Fawcett was fire. I love the grief. I love grief. Grief. Off the top. I'm not going to lie. Wool. <laughs> Just come on, bro. Come on, bro. I damn near spend this whole album right now. I'm not going to lie to you. But God, that man, oh man, bro. Earl and Vince were just an unstoppable duo, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Earl and Vince were just an unstoppable duo, bro. I'm not even going to lie, bro. I'm not even going to lie, bro. Jesus, this makes me want to go back and just actually listen to all these, bro. DNA with uh, Nikhil is so fire, but also sad when you know the backstory. Wait, what's the backstory on DNA? Iconic, because it's like, bro, there's so much, like, influences that you can hear other people do now that he was doing here I'm not saying that he was the first one but like come on bro the, the way that he was able to dis the distortion on this shit like the roominess of the of the instruments and shit come on bro. it's crazy how much leveled up uh from how how much level up it was from doris yeah i'm not gonna even gonna lie yeah you're not wrong if i had to be honest though it's an S tier. I don't think I could put this above Doris. But it's definitely S tier. Alright, and then next. Next we got um I don't remember the album name. In the some rap songs. Remember this? Cause literally I remember. I remember I was at work. I think. Or was I in school? I think I was in school when this song came out. And I and I and I was literally just listening to the whole album while in school. That's probably why I don't remember that much cuz I was like that was a you know a very interesting time, but I'm not going to lie. I do remember this song. I do remember this song, bro. Chord. All right, hold on. Listen to this the more that I start remembering the shit. I'm going to be honest, I was going to give it like a B. But I'm not gonna lie. I might have to put this high A tier. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might have to put this high A tier. I'm gonna be honest. I might have to put it will go to S. Because the more that I listen to it. Wait, is Vane the one that I think it is? Like I this was probably the the album that had the most like sampling I've heard from this man. This picture is still crazy, though. <laughs> this picture is still crazy as fuck. This picture is still... It haunts me to this day. This album was made after hanging with Mike and his uh, slum crew. Earl a goat. He really is. I'm going to keep it at A, though. Because I, it, it took me a while to remember this album. Because I've definitely listened to it, obviously as an Earl stand myself. But if I had to keep it a buck, I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Doris, for me, are definitely just top two going back to each one of these albums all the time. I don't I don't know if I'm necessarily going back to this album all the time like that. Um, But it's definitely up there. It's, def it's definitely up there. I'm not putting that in there just because, of, you know, I'm an Earl fan. I'm putting it up there because I think it was, you know. And then last but not least, the collab album. If I'm going to be honest. If I'm going to be honest. I think I'm going to give it a B. I think I'm going to give it a B. I think I'm going to give it a B. I think I'm going to give it a B. I think the last album I'm going to give it a B. Just because... I think it was a good album, but I don't think it's up. It, I don't think it's like the best. Like it was definitely, it definitely was like a great Earl album, but I feel like you know it was split fifty fifty with Earl and Alchemist. I need a bigger bag for the cohort.